Hello and welcome to the Cobb Bros Podcast. One year, one year, one year. One year, one year, one year. One year, one year, one year. It is our one year anniversary. <laughs> yeah, it is. How many years is that? That's uh, 365 years. Like a failed mobile. Phone. No, but okay. I'll take it. It's 24 years. Okay. Go. Yeah. There's 24 hours in a year. And I'm 23, so that's crazy. That is crazy, dude. You've big, almost been alive for 24 hours, too. How does it feel to be 1,050? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know the guy that discovered the age of the Earth discovered that lead was bad? Did Fun he fact. Know? Thank you. I'm not going to go on the tangent of it. But As he was sh- eating his pencil. Why didn't we just ask the Earth how old it was? Pencils aren't <laughs> lead. They're graphite. They used to be lead. No, the mechanical ones are lead. <laughs> Yeah, the Xbox doesn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi. Fun stuff. Technical fiffle full kid DDs. Yeah. I was going to fly Fuckle around. But... Fuck up titties. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the Cod Bros Podcast. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to a the new Cod week. Bros Podcast. A Cod new year. The it's Bros a new cast. Year. It's a new Cob year. We're about to start year two. Cob Happy year two. Cob Bros New Year. So, channel recap. We're at 54 subs one year in. Yep. That's pretty good. Fuck yeah. yeah. Can, you, can we fit 54 people in this room? Uh, 365. No. Days, 54 people. Other. Not to butt, probably. Thank all of you for listening, for, uh, and, listening and coming by. We appreciate you all. We're hoping that you guys are enjoying and having fun with us. Um, it's only going up. Yeah. It's only going up. It has to get better, right? Keep going. It can only get better. If you guys want to support us, we've got a Patreon. Uh, I think we should make an agreement to start forcing me to s- upload more videos onto that. Yeah, we neglect it. <laughs> we do. Yeah, if if you don't, we're gonna hang you up by your toenails in your basement. Well, well no, no, we're not I don't that. like that. So that's convincing <laughs> enough. Please leave my fucking toes alone. We won't, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm excited to see what this next year of uh, of adventure brings us. I was watching an old episode, and it was episode eight, I think. Yeah. And we were just talking and randomly bantering and talking about equipment upgrades. Yeah. And at one point, I think it was uh, David looked over at Brandon and he said, yeah, dude. And we uh, we got a small upgrade. We gave him a shitty pop filter mic, but we'll get him a new one soon. <laughs> He's still using the same, same one. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not shitty. It, it works. It works. I mean, it's a pop it, works. Yeah. it does it's what sh- it needs to do. It's a shitty do. mic, so I mean, it masks the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys aren't complaining, so... Yet nobody's complained about the it. It's functional. Filter. I'll take it. If anybody, Keep your opinions to yourself. Whoever complains about Brandon's no, pop huh. filter first will replace it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We will send you the pop filter. Give me your address. Share your opinions. I and I won't even clean it. That's a promise. Yeah, get all the fresh Brandon stink. Oh, yummy, yummy indeed. So I like to call it way. Musk. Musk. Brandon Musk. Mm. Busk. Barn oh, Musk. Busk. Oh man, I'm gonna busk on you. I'll oh, tell you what. Jesus. All right. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? What's going on this week, dudes? Uh, well, I came across an interesting thing the other day. Yeah. On uh, well, I was just watching YouTube. You guys heard of a of, of a gamerhood before? A gamerhood. Game, what do you? What? Do you, what yeah. What? What do you? When I say the words gamer word, what do you? What do you think comes? To it? Sounds racist. Uh, online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hub world of an online game. I was just uh, gonna okay. say a neighborhood hub of gamers okay. online. Uh, a gamerhood is probably a lot less unique than that, and it's probably just something that blocks out the glare and shit from your screen. I, <laughs> and, and like an yeah. actual hood that goes over your screen. A gamer gang oh, bang No, it's something that you put on your TV so that one person sits below it and one sits above it so you can do split screen without screen cheating. Hmm. All right, so that, both amazing answers. However, it is uh, just a neighborhood of gamers. Uh, dead fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. It, it's a it was a it's like a charity event that's some of the old Rooster Teeth crew and some other streamers. What was the other streamer's name on there? Berlizzi. Berli, I want to, that's one of them, and uh, it's it's, kind of bad, it's just a charity thing where they do events, but they're all living inside of like a, like a cul de sac in houses. Huh. And then like they all just came out like it's just, they haven't started yet. It came out comes out on the twenty eighth, I think, of this month. So they're living in a sack. Pers- cul- personally, game, I wouldn't a gamer sack. Wait. Yeah, personally, I wouldn't let that slide. No, they're, they're living in a gamer sack. It's a TV show. <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's Twitch, ch- like an episodic thing or something. So it's like Big Brother, but with a bunch of idiot gamers. <laughs> I, I think yeah. so. I think they're just doing like 
challenges and like other and they might do big brother shit where they just i've it. never seen big brother so i don't know it's what kind of goofy is. it's fucking i've never crazy. really watched it either but i get the premise i don't do even you know, know what it's it about no i have no idea I have... it's a bunch of people living in a house together that don't know each other and it's a bunch of drama that's it they yeah s- no they get split into two teams and uh they vote people out on either team every week but you play games throughout the week as well to get mm-hmm. like um, unity or to get extra so it's like survivor uh, in an apartment that, yeah i was about to say that sounds like a really fun craigslist ad where you find random <laughs> the games are who does the dishes and how can we not yell at each other tonight and Who's maybe gonna the they won't Brita? strangle you in your sleep <laughs> yeah joshua you are the best person in the room but unfortunately your pac-man skills were lacking tonight I'm going to need you to unplug your Ethernet cable <laughs> and leave the stack. <laughs> and leave the stack. You've been disconnected. Uh, dun, oh, dun. Shit. You got jacked off. <laughs> They're always so nice about it. When is the passive aggressive host going to come in and go, dun, dun, dun. Have you watched Hell's Kitchen? He literally yeah. goes, Fuck off, will you? You're a nuisance. <laughs> Don't fuck use... out of my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Fight me? Huh? Big boy, you need to fight me because you're a shit cook. <laughs> It's donkey. fucking raw. It's bland. It's like eating peanut shells. You donkey. <laughs> hey, guys, can we turn off uh, Hell's Kitchen in the background, please? We're trying to record. <laughs> the Venn diagram of Gordon Ramsay and Shrek grows closer with donkey. <laughs> I mean, they're both Scottish. Ah, there's another one. <laughs> you're, fact, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he's not British. That's that's yeah. two. The middle's growing bigger. What else? There's a dog. What that dog? What else? I don't know. Cesaris, don't let the dog scare you again. The dog likes sneaking up on me. Go. See if I can next time. I had a tangent wow, that was to yell about and I forgot what it was. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh well. What well, look, well the the Venn diagram of Shrek and Gordon Shrek and Gordon Ramsey. Oh yeah. Uh what else? I don't know. Are they green? Well he gets green when he eats shit food. They both love food. <laughs> they yeah. do. Do yeah. they have layers? They both use onions. I'm just saying. I'm gonna demonstrate. <laughs> demonstrate. What else? They're both in the fine cuisine. Fine cuisine. <laughs> it's pronounced quiz. They call everything donkey. Quizin. Quiznos? Dude, Quiznos is good. I his his cousin Quizno, well, he invented the Porta sub. Have you had Qdoba? I've had Qdoba. Qdoba it's like good. a Chipotle. In better. A I like Qdoba better than Chipotle. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it a fresher ingredients? I wouldn't say fresher. It just tastes just better. It tastes better. Oh, okay. I like cracking. their black beans better. I don't, they don't, they're not mushy. Mm. Fair. Colton, have you ever had Qdoba? I have nope. No. I, is that a local thing? I don't know what states those are in. I see them in Cali. So, I think Qdoba is okay. more popular than like West Coast, maybe. Yeah, Oregon's on the West Coast, bud. Well, yeah, you just never had some. You might not have been. I'm sure there's some in Portland. Nevada's yeah. on the Tahoe coast. Yeah, we're somehow Pacific time. How is that relevant? <laughs> you both, take both those things that you guys what? just said. Okay, well, California's on the West Coast. Yeah. California touches Tahoe. We're touching, We're touching Tahoe. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. And yeah. then you said, "How are they both on Pacific time?" Yeah, because they're fucking both touching. <laughs> they're right. okay, okay, but okay. fucking New Mexico is touching California, and it ain't working out. Different range of mountains. And, and Arizona has parts that don't even practice daylight savings time. Yes, yeah, so what? what a weird and there's place there's times there. of the year in Arizona where they're ahead of us or behind us. It fucked or, up. My fit, it's weird. My Fitbit was trying to grab the time automatically, and it glitched. And for like four or five months, I had the wrong time on my watch, and I couldn't fix it. No, wow! I even factory reset it, and it still had the wrong time. Uh, amazing! Thank you, Arizona. Thank you, Arizona. Jesus! Fucked up my Fitbit. <laughs> Speaking of factory resetting things today, my battery in my Explorer died, and it reverted to Canadian. Oh what? God! So the it, everything went to kilometers <laughs> in Celsius. I had to go back through all the settings and change them. <laughs> when I talked to you, to say a boot? big rip. <laughs> that would have been great. I should have checked. Mm. And then, and then, and then say a boot when I talked to you. A boot. No, it didn't talk to me though. Oh. A boot, a girl. <laughs> a boot is tired. Hey, <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah! Just speaking okay. of music. Uh, a bunch of albums came out recently. Holy shit, dude. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What was it? Uh, Logic dropped one. Logic, West Side Boogie. Joey Badass delayed his, which was kind of tragic. Uh, the Elvis soundtrack, I think, came out. But the, the... Not, I know Eminem's song with CeeLo Green did launch. Yeah, but called. that movie's not even out yet, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Parkway Drive came out with a new single. Did they really? Yeah, it Holy was pretty shit. good. They're back? Yes. Back in black. Fuck yeah. 
He's New back. album soon. Back in black. Hit the sack. Hit the deck. <laughs> so my deuce. I know Gorilla's got something on the horizon. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's it's coming out with a new album, yeah. Yeah, there's a new single coming out, I think, next Friday. Oh, shit, really? With an album quickly turning the corner. What was the last thing that like, they produced? Uh, what was um, it? Song Machine. Song mm. Machine. Yep. The one that had, like, Rings of Saturn and Andromeda on it. Oh, okay. No, it was it was Song Machine. No, Song that, was like the, that was the last album I meant. What? Wasn't it? The ones no, that had... They've had two since. Oh, okay. My they, bad. There was the Now Now and Song Machine. Song Machine is the one with um, Elton John on it. Mm. Uh, okay. Pink okay. I think I remember you, you sending me that song. The only reason I know is because Tyson bought it for me for Christmas, and it comes in like this hardcover book. Cool. And it's like an art book with the with the vinyl in it, and it has a CD that I've never popped into anything, so i got to figure out what's on it. Ooh. Huh. Yeah. And maybe like a DVD type, like interactive thing. Mm-hmm. I opened it, and he's all like, that was a lot of money. I was like, okay, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Here's a headset. <laughs> Good. Got your headset. I hope you love it. Tyson, so he got me that at the end of 2020 because that was when it came out. And then this last year, all he does is buy me vinyl. I was like, dude, I have no Avenged Sevenfold vinyls. He was like, really? Got you. I have the Coke Bottle Clear uh, Diamond in the Rough vinyl. And I was like, dude, just get me something else that's not that. He's like, okay. So he bought me the, he bought me two different Avenged Sevenfold vinyls. He bought me the stage. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then he was like, I got this one, but I can't really read the cover, but it's got a cool astronaut on it. It's the stage deluxe edition. <laughs> and because it's the, the colors are inverted, it looks like two completely different albums, the same one. And I sat there and I went, I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Tyson. And I pulled him aside later. I said, Tyson. He's like, yeah. I was like, these are the same album. <laughs> he was like, oh, do you want to return it? I was like, no, because I want that. But I'm going to play that one. <laughs> Fair enough. I was like, I actually wanted both. So. <laughs> You solved the dilemma. <laughs> you just gave me both of them. Yeah, he gave me both. And both he was them? like, oh, I feel like an idiot. And I was like, no, this is fine. I'm actually happy with this. <laughs> That's pretty sick, though. Yeah. That's a cool touch for the deluxe edition. The deluxe edition is four four discs. Wow. Yeah. Or four vinyl records. Wow. How many songs That's are crazy. on the, on the uh, album? Uh, the regular album, I think, is what, 11 songs? And then it has four live songs and uh, six or seven covers. Whoa! Oh, so that's why it's deluxe. It comes. It's like a whole nother album stacked on top of it. That's, that's pretty cool, cool mm-hmm. though. Fucking a. hell yeah! Well, yeah, about... yeah, Brady. Anyways, and then there was no other notable artist that dropped anything, you know, at all. Yeah. No. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. No more. Did you mention Logic? Nothing. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. opened up Logic. Yeah. Okay. Nobody else dropped. I anything. do like his uh, the nope. songs when we were listening to it earlier. Mm-hmm. It was all very nice. Yeah. Like actually, like it was all like very groovy. It was just tasteful. Yeah. And that was cool to see from Logic. You know you. You want to like that guy. Cause... I want a big titty rap. What the fuck? Yeah. I was on his subreddit the night that Confessions of a Dangerous Mind dropped. It was a fucking bloodbath. People were just... Really? Oh, because the album was so bad. And it was just people making fun of him. And then you have, like, the dick writers coming in and going, no, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Right, right. It's he's amazing, man. And then a year after it comes out, you have all the people going, no, oh, it wasn't that bad. No, it's not. It's not great. Don't give in. Yeah, it's a shit album. It's you don't have to album. pretend. Yeah, if you want like the worst Logic albums, I guess. <laughs> if you want to start off with third worst, you would go with Bobby Tarantino three. Like, I don't think he gave a shit, but some of the songs on it are pretty good. Then there's Supermarket, where he kind of tried to uh, make alternative rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that it's bad. It's just it's not great. And the number one shitty album. And then Confessions of a Dangerous Mind is just fucking terrible. <laughs> and it yeah. sucks because it's the one that has the the Eminem song. Uh, homicide. Oh. Mm. And that one's good. Eminem's last album was the, uh, the what was it? The music. B-side, right? Of Confession of a Dead Man? No. no. Music to be murdered, murdered by. by. There we go. Hmm. This is music to be murdered by. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I listen to Alfred's theme a lot more than I should at my age. <laughs> <laughs> when he says, bitch, I still get the bag when I take the garbage out. <laughs> referring to Revival. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Fuck your side, bitch. Wait. Oh, I'm still east side, bitch. <laughs> oh, when he's talking about Billy Eilish? Yeah. <laughs> Diddy side, bitch. Hold on. What the fuck? I'm Diddy side, bitch. I'm under hard reset. Oh, I'm still east side, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that beat's so, great on it, too. It for Dude, it's, go- it's literally a goofy Abbey. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, they ripped it out of a Mickey Mouse, pre- like, <laughs> Disney Junior type shit. Oh, man. If, no, if you're listening to this and you haven't listened to Alfred's theme by Eminem, just throw it on at least once. It, 
it's not a good song by metrics of, oh, I'm going to throw this on in the car and let all my friends listen to it. It's good <laughs> by listen through it once and just listen to all the dumb bars that he spits. Like at one point he says, I'm going to pee on your head like a Phillies cap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Send it in, man. Don't judge it. Just love it. I'm not judging. I'm it. reacting just... to it. Yeah. That's a good bar. Right? He's a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> I will say his technical ability is getting way better to the point where he's coming up with sick bars and he's making it flow to the song. Mm -hmm. okay. They just came out with the expanded edition to uh, the Eminem show to celebrate its 20th anniversary. Hmm. And it that album's cool because he produced a lot and made a lot of the beats that appeared on the album. So he kind of really curated a lot of the music on it. But his newer shit is better because it's more polished and refined. You can tell he's grown as an artist. Even though he still says some of the wackest shit on the planet. Yeah, like his skills are just like, you're like it's just more refined, more fine point. Because mm -hmm. he's capable of making a completely serious song. And then just making the wackest song you've ever heard. Yeah. The last song on that music to be murdered by, or music to be murdered by part B is discombobulated. Oh, discombobulated. Miss you ovulated. Yep. And there's a point where he's just, he oh just. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. The intro to that song though. I don't know if I want to say it on here. Yeah. It gets pretty hard. <laughs> but go listen to that if you if it's a fucking great song. Does Eminem say the N word? No, no, no. Oh, okay. He good. used to in the nineties. And we let him it's okay though. He's Eminem. It was the nineties. Yeah. He lived in Detroit. <laughs> it was nineties yeah. in Detroit 90s and everyone Detroit. accepted it. <laughs> They're like, we'll let it slide for now. He had a questionable bar. People still bring it up. Uh Dr. Dre's last album, Compton, mm -hmm. came out just before the movie did. It was Everyone thought it was a soundtrack, and it does say it's a soundtrack by Dr. Dre, but it really is his third album. Oh. And it's a really good album, but he got Eminem on it for one verse in Medicine Man, and he had a very questionable line, and even Dr. Dre blurred it when he put it on there. <laughs> he was like, well, hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, no, he did recently, he did stuff for GTA Five for that one expansion, right? Correct. He, that, that he was curated the, stuff the, he the music in the game. Yep. Right. I haven't what? played that DLC yet. <laughs> yeah. Fucking GTA is beating getting? a dead horse so badly. That it's, horse is fucking decomposing. It's, and they're still fucking beating it. I was watching And they're play. making money on it still. Oh yeah. yeah. I was watching gameplay recently, like the people that played the 360 version before the servers Ooh. closed for the final time. And like watching that, it feels so much different than the GTA that's on PC and uh, Xbox One and PS4. Oh yeah. yeah. It has mm -hmm. a different vibe and it felt different. Right. But it worked. Though. I couldn't. I can't explain it because when I played the campaign on PS3, it's so much different than playing it on the Xbox One. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Hmm. No first person. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Uh, come on. <laughs> I mean, it should, I mean, fuck. It worked though on those older systems. The, you know I mean, it was a great game. Yeah. Yeah. It took like twenty minutes to special. load into the game, and the first the time you loaded in, you sat there and reset your game a couple times because there was no main menu. It just immediately throws you into it. Like GTA and their lack of main menu. At least Red Dead 2 gives you the option to click on one or two things. Yeah, to hit online. start and then choose what you want to do. Like mm -hmm. the fact that there's a start button in Red Dead is that's all that's all it really needed. Yeah. <laughs> start. Well, because I played GTA five before I played four, and to play four and there's nothing. Like it just loads you into the Yeah, game. you just start fucking mm -hmm. going in. It's almost like how the Series X will load a GTA five now. Correct. As like how the GTA four was on three sixty. GTA 4's replayability will survive much longer than GTA 5's, though, I think. Because of how how much they've tried to keep GTA 5 alive. Mm -hmm. Once GTA 6 does come out, I think GTA 5 is fucking ghost. You know, it's... Well, it's still held people, like, invested thousands of dollars so far into the game. Yeah, So it's kind of hard so. for them to, like, oh, I got a new GTA Online, but I still mm -hmm. sunk all this money and all this shit into oh, this that's, gosh. that's the weird thing, because Rockstar treats GTA Online as a different entity than yeah. GTA 5. Like, like a, a separate GTA department. 5 is the game, the campaign, with the three characters, and GTA Online is when you go online and play that. It's like two separate game modes that share the same map. There's like hundreds a, of things that you can't do in the campaign that are only in online. Correct. Like you can't go to the casino in single player. It mm. sucks. Like that. It feels like the only way to get the full GTA experience is to play online and yeah. then get shot down by griefers. It'd be awesome if you were able to But there's the stuff fucking... you can do in campaign that you can't do in GTA online, too. Peyote. Mm. Yeah, you can do the peyote and there's shit like trade -offs. that. Yeah. All the Easter eggs and shit. That's kind of like how Fortnite is, you know? Like, Fortnite came out with Save the World, and then Battle, Roy Battle Royale was, like, a side thing that was came with it. And they made it for free just so that people would download the game. It yeah. turned out it became the most popular game ever. Right? Like... <laughs>
Then there's a good stuff with it. I know they're on some weird season. Imagine if like, Fortnite you know, flopped. Everybody would be talking about um PUBG probably yeah. still. PUBG would still be the on top People of the just Fortnite fan the Royals. PUBG flames. They did remember the great battle royale of twenty eighteen where every game was like we're gonna we're gonna battle royale. There's a battle royale. Yeah, Tell Black Ops uh, Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four, they Battle never, Royale, I Modern Warfare, Warzone. Like I couldn't believe it. Yeah, Battlefield Five had um Battlefield Five uh, Firestorm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Firestorm. It had one. Fallout seventy six added uh the nuclear winter game mode. Mm-hmm. I never played that one. That it was awful. It sucked. I so bet. It played like <laughs> shit. I'm not I couldn't imagine doing a Fallout game and doing it as a battle royale. Yeah, it it wasn't great. I can't imagine because like it, it's real time vats, right? Yeah. So no, there's no vats. Oh, there, or there is, is no vats, vats, but it is real time, and you only get like one shot because it doesn't want you to just sit there and just nuke people with the good rifle. Right. You know, hmm. in '76, how it plays on a one, it's at like 30 frames per second. Yeah. And looking around is choppy, and shooting somebody's damn near impossible. Yeah. That's the battle royale. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> You'd be lucky to like hit someone and get a hit marker. Imagine killing somebody with a hunting rifle. Like you go to a crate and all you find is a fucking hunting rifle, and you're like, "Oh, just go sweet out of there." Yeah, can't wait. I can barely kill a fucking mole rat running at three miles an hour <laughs> with the hunting oh, rifle shit. in the regular game. Yeah, wow. they did retire that though because it was in beta and it never came out of beta. They just, just shelled it. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, this is fucking ter- horrible." Mm-hmm. I can't remember when they shelled it. It was right before Tyson got um, banned. Oh Ooh. fuck! Yeah. That whole debacle. That was, that was weird. He got banned, and then they lifted the ban, but they reset his account, so he had to start all over again. He was like, "No, <laughs> he's no, thank no. you." Mm-mm. Well, they're coming out with the the pit DLC, right? Correct. Is, that, is, it, is it free or is it you have to pay for that one? I haven't heard, but everything in the game so far has been free. Like all a the, all the updates, yeah. Okay, it's because they want you to spend money in the atomic shop. And uh, my, uh, Fallout First member, man. <laughs> They'd make. I I don't know if they would actually make more money if they released it as DLC because the fact that they're not means they're probably making more off of the Atomic mm-hmm. Shop. Oh yeah, there's a lot of like almost everything you want is on the Atomic Shop. All the cool shit. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Yeah. Can't fucking wait to pay money for shit that should just be in the game. You get atoms from doing challenges though, right? Or, um, or something a like that. A little bit. I'm not sure. I think that's why I'm sad that Cyberpunk's, um. Multiplayer has been shelved. Like mm. they said, they canceled it. I think they're putting it on the back burner until they figure out what the fuck's going on with that game. I mean, they're still working on. They it. They said they delayed it indefinitely. Yeah, mm. which I thought. I remember reading somewhere that they canceled it, but delaying indefinitely usually means they're just waiting. They're they're not working on it. Yeah. Um, but they're they're working on DLC. For I it. will say, CD Projekt Red, they just give a lot of their shit away for free or for cheap, and I feel like if they did an online. If they really held those company standards to a point where they were like, "Oh, here's some cool cosmetics, but here's all the shit in game that you can earn," that'd yeah. be cool. Like actually earn it in game, like mm-hmm. doing challenges, going. Through. Like The Witcher Three was broken at launch, but their DLC delivered for twenty bucks. You get an expansion pack that's almost as big as the regular game. Yeah, hmm. and then well, there's plenty of other DLC too. Like you had, to, you can go into like a fairy tale world mm-hmm. and like help out like all the classic fairy tales and other shit. And we live in a day and age where you can play that all on a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, on the fucking the go. The Witcher but... 3 runs on the Switch. That's insane. It's That's 720p wild. on handheld. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, hey. If, if you just want The Witcher on the go, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Dude, Switch is a great console for Imagine like, buying a Witcher. Switch Lite and you're like, I'm going to play The Witcher. Yeah, I'm going to play... Oh, and Skyrim. Play and Borderlands. Skyrim. <laughs> My coworker has that. He bought a Switch Lite and he plays Skyrim on it almost exclusively. Hell yeah, dude. That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Try to save Faringard. Faringard. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Uh, the Xbox showcase was this weekend. Who's who was his uh, most anticipated game? Uh, I saw really. the one Redfall. That looks pretty dope. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks kind of. I mean, I don't know about everybody, but I thought it looks pretty cool. It's an open world like vampire shoot horror shooter. Yeah, yeah that, that looks, one looks good. It's really good. You that know, what studio cool. makes that one. Who? Arcane, the people that made the. Oh, Sonic really? Series. Yeah. No. Okay, that's be dope as fuck. It's mm-hmm. cool abilities and shit. They know all about dope abilities. I was just talking with Colton in the party the other night about this, uh, about beating Dishonored without killing anybody or using any of your special yeah, powers. Yeah, to get it to, to the city level. And I was like, all everybody ever talks about is how they like manipulated and killed people and the awesome powers of these and shit like that. I've only ever played the game once, and it was just never killing anybody because I wanted the achievement for... Right. It's called Clean Hands, where you just complete it without killing anybody. And, and I was like, <laughs> what abilities? What weapons? I just jump around. I literally jumped around to the end of the mission yeah, just and shit like that. Bing, bing, bing. Yep. I did huh. that in the first Metro game because it was an achievement not to... Well, to get the good ending, you literally cannot kill anybody throughout the entire game. You know, like they're shooting at you? That's what you have to sneak. You have to be sneaky the whole thing and just... 
go through the shadows and crouch your way through the game. You're allowed to shoot at like mutants and shit like that. But when it comes to a human, you're allowed to only knock out, I think, like three or four people throughout the whole game. But if you knock out everybody, you won't get the good ending. Why? Because you're out. because you're being violent. You're knocking them out. You're huh. you're being aggressive when there's no aggression being brought to you. I, good ending or secret ending? Um, because I feel like a good ending it is, is just it is the se- it is the secret ending, but it's also the good ending because the regular ending of the first Metro RTM de- or hey, whoa, spoilers. No, <laughs> uh, games not. Wait, no, he years. doesn't. Oh, okay. yeah, fair <laughs> Wait, no. So it is a secret ending, actually. Okay, I think because I. Th- I can't remember. Oh, no. So at the end of the game, you either not launch the nukes at the Dark Ones. I'm pretty sure that's the canon ending because Last Light, everything where the Dark Ones were is all like irradiated and shit because you launched three nukes at them. And then the good ending is when you get to the last spot, um, when the Dark Ones trying to stop you, if you shoot it in the leg, it'll like point to the thing and be like, no, stop that. And if you knock down the laser guider, then uh, the nukes won't go off and the Dark Ones live. And that's a good ending. Because you don't, you spare them. Or yeah, because you didn't kill, the, you shoot him in the leg so he didn't die. So he was able to tell you to knock the thing down because they were trying to help you. Mm. But the humans were like, oh my. They're, they're like, trying to kill me. It's like total psychic shit. So they were trying to just touch them and be like, friend. But then the humans' regular brains would just go, <laughs> and die from insanity. Because they would show <laughs> shit. It's another brain connected to a brain, mm. basically. Through radiation. radiation. What if two giga chads met like that? That's how they communicate. When two giga chads communicate, they just look at each other and they hear, no, 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 no. Can you feel me? Ah. I, guess, with that. I guess I'd go with the Modern Warfare 2. Yo. Honestly, All right. I'm just very excited to see that campaign. I mean, the trailer look makes it look amazing so far. We've been talking about just missing that game, bro. Too. It's got guns yeah. in it. <laughs> oh shit! Really, dude? Yeah, bro. so many guns. Just a reliable go go to game. You know, I need that again. Well, I mean, I even remember the trailers for the original Modern Warfare and being psyched for that. Yeah. And tell me, this is gonna be an extension of that? She. Yeah, come on, come on. That was a really good campaign, and the first one, Modern Warfare. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. Uh, what was that? 20... Oh, 2019. 2019. 2019. Yeah. I was. I really enjoyed that campaign, and I hope they deliver with this one too. That tactical night vision mission. Mm-hmm. That one was. Oh fun, yeah. Where you're running through the houses. I think mm-hmm. that one was really well, enjoyable. It was um yeah. Like Flashbang babies in their cribs. Okay, okay. Wait, hold on, real quick, real quick. On that sub, on that point. Who shot the baby? Um, uh-huh. I think I did on my second playthrough just to see what would happen. Okay, on the I'm first playthrough, cr- I was being serious, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I did. I think I accidentally did. But... I mean, like, like I, I think I, I shot the mother at first, and I went, "Oh, oops!" oops. Then she pulls out the gun. If you wait a second, yeah, mm-hmm. it's funny because if you kill her before she pulls out the gun, it's like, "What the fuck?" And then you just gotta wait two seconds. Yeah, it got. It was like police shot the police before they shoot. Yep. Huh. But uh, well, in theory. I don't know who was in the party with, but I was, I shot the baby and I started laughing <laughs> because like, if like, okay, if the game gave me the opportunity to do it, I'm going to do it. Right. Cause like, I, I can't go out and fucking shoot a baby. <laughs> I, go like a bitch. <laughs> no, right. I mean, I like, it's a, it's like, I, I've never done this and I, I'm like, if I can, you just put yourself on like three different watch lists. It's fine. That one it's like playing Fallout 3 <laughs> and you try shooting at the kids and they just go running and going, ah, and then everybody in the city turns on you. <laughs> Rightfully so, but yeah. still, you're... the disappointment I felt as a 13 year old trying to shoot the kids in Fallout 3. Like, come on, yeah. same, <laughs> same f- playing field right here. Or Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim. Yeah. I'm reinstalling Battlefield 5. Okay, there you go. What really? Whoa, yeah. uh, hell, that bombshell. Yeah. That's steep. Yeah. Nice one, nice. I got it. I, I've nice. been I've been watching all that hell at loose gameplay, and I just won a World War II game. And I, from what I've heard, the um, do we gotta go home and install Battlefield 5? Or you can do it. Well, then why don't we play Call of Duty, Duty World War 2? Uh, because Call of Duty World War 2 is a fucking mockery to a I, World I War 2 game. You should play World War 2. I don't have Call of Duty World War 2. Yeah. <laughs> I have it either. either. I can give Actually, you from what I've heard, yeah, since it. um, <laughs> when they added the uh, like the Pacific Theater and like the from what I heard, the Iwo Jima map is one of the best maps like Battlefield fans have said they've ever added. And I'm pretty sure one of those maps that they added too is the largest like battlefield map as well. Free question mark? I feel I'm pretty like... sure all the DLC in that game is free. Yeah. It's, it's fucking all just, better. It's, it's all it was all just updated, yeah. EA play. 
Oh, Brian, right. I, there? I think or there's James? a recent episode where you said you'd never play Battlefield Five again, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably did, but then I started watching Hell Let Loose <laughs> shit, and I'm just like, until I can play that game, I need a good like, uh, multiplayer World, 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 World War II game. Dude, just get Medal of Honor front lines. What's wrong with you? And two of what? I'm Metal sorry. What fucking year is it? <laughs> Metal... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot what year it was. It's like Metal Honor Frontline. Like, um, it's a. It came on the PS2. I have, I it, I have it for the GameCube. Oh I don't, really? I don't, I don't even know where the Wii's at anymore. Fuck. We'd have to use that one. <laughs> yeah, you can take. I got that two one. of them. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that, that was like one of my first like shooter games. That was hella fun. Yeah, that Metal Honor Frontline is the very first shooter I ever played. First mission is D Day. I'm like, bro, oh, shit. That, dude. Did you know that Steven Spielberg was actually one of the producers of Medal of Honor Frontline? Really? Basically, all the scenes in that shit in the game, like the Omaha Beach at the start, yeah. everything is basically like Him directing rough. it. it. Well, it's rough. If you look at it, it looks very similar to the scenes in Saving Private Ryan. Mm. Like in all the towns and shit that they go through, you can look at specific architecture of like whatever and pin it exactly to a shot in Saving Private Ryan. Cool. Like, there's a lot of the game that is on its own and, like, original, but a lot of it's inspired by how Saving Private Ryan looked. Hmm. And Steve, like, if you watch the credits, Steven Spielberg was a producer of Metal Line Frontline. Okay. I need to find a way to play it Or again. a producer, not, like, the executive producer, but he was... A producer? Yeah. Okay. He, he, made, he made a video game, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what, what are you excited for, for the Xbox showcase? That they well, showed? while we're on it... um. There's a new Justin Roman, I think it's produced or written game, uh, titled High on Life. Oh shit, dude! And the trailer for that, that game is looks amazing. fucking insane. Your gun talks to you the whole game. All of them and it's do. The voice of Morty. Like, oh, well, God. there's there was that one gun that had the Morty voice, yep. but then there was every single gun in the game just has a fucking face on it and it talks to you. Yeah. And like you're shooting, it's just like ah, oh fuck. You know what's awesome? <laughs> that game's gonna be on Game Pass and it's this <gasps> year. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything they showed on the it's showcase on game is Game Pass day one I when it launches. Wait. Not is... every game is Game Pass, but every game is within twelve months. Okay. They said every game shown is within twelve months. Fair it enough. Will be I mean, on Game Pass. Okay. Just like uh, was it Guardians of the Galaxy? I didn't get it because I knew in a couple of months it was gonna be on Game Pass, and lo and behold, Game Pass. Right. Game Pass. Game Pass. Colton, what was your personal favorite? There were a lot. Let me hear. Um, uh, pick two. No, pick three. Dog. Obviously, Starfield, but that one's been hyped to a point where I can't really be excited for it. You might as well play Star Citizen now. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, no joke. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but I would have to say I can't remember the name of it, but there's the one with the the mech suit where you're basically base building. I didn't see mm. that one. I saw that. It's like No Man's Sky. I thought it was uh, No it Man's was... Sky at first, but it was something yeah, different. Ex- it, it's the, um, it was like a guys that made it's like a like a resource like city management one right on a giant wheel. Correct. Ah, yeah, fuck it. It, they made a they made what was it? This war of mine. There you go. Got that's it. One of the, that's that one looks games. really cool. That, yeah. yeah. There was one. I forget what the name of it was, <laughs> but it was like you played as this chick going through this war torn city, and it, it kind of looked like similar uh, enemies like in the. Um, half-life games mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. you were able to hide under tables and shit as they were going through and you had to sneak around them and then at the end of it they you like fucking caught them and pulled them out of the thing does anyone remember that half-life, half-life alex no hmm. it was in it was in the showcase i totally forget what the fuck it was called but it looked really cool yeah, like, like and it's like you started off as a high player. on life is one of the games that i'm super excited about i just talked about that yeah that's yeah the justin roiland <laughs> the justin roiland yep. pretty fun it's, was, a good, it's, it's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be fire, dude. Is it just him, or is the other guy gonna be in it as well? I forgot the other guy. It's a lot of the cast. Okay, cool. Am I here, summer bitching again? It looks exciting. <laughs> oh my god, what? But I'm look. I'm looking through the list. That's why that one just Storm, struck my Storm's brain. coming again. Yo, that one has been in fucking development for years. years. Which one? Scorn. Scorn. Oh, dude. Well, oh, I want to say I think Scorn was originally a game that came out a long time ago. Well, I think that. What was that one based on? It's like a. It's all like fleshy. Like it's a like, horror game. Yeah, it's yeah. a horror shoot, first person shooter. It's Doom, okay. but more horror. Yeah, right, it's like right. Doom meets Every, agony. Everything's made out of living shit. And like your gun, like, it like yeah. you put stuff into your gun to change the shot, and like it like it, it's alive, so like it mutates around in your hand. Wow, it's okay. fucking. It it's looks, very HP Lovecrafty. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty cool, but it's like fucking. Bleh. Frontier: A Fresh Start is the game I was thinking about. 
Frontier, Frontier. Fresh Start. Okay, that sounds right. The... It, it's a farming simulator with mechs. Got it. Huh. Okay. Is that the one? Is that, that, that's not the one I'm talking about. Then. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Might be. Yeah. Is it like a giant wheel city thing? It's the game we're talking no, about. No, this is... No, no. Was that Stardew Valley-esque? Like... Oh, no, it is. A... Yeah, uh, no, he's talking what about What was that one? one? No, I'm sorry, whatever one. Which one are you talking about? David? There was one that was uh, kind of like Stardew Valley derived. Is that or... the one with the witch? Maybe. Uh, something about building... A village. I, I can't remember. I'm just. Talking I don't remember the names. name. I wrote all. Someone the, mentioned. I it. wrote all the games down and I forgot my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. No, that's rough. No, uh, but it was a very cool showcase. It was. They showed it off last year. They didn't show any gameplay for it for it this year. But it was in that little display or graphic they had at the end where it shows you all the games that are coming uh, to Xbox in the next year, and it's called Atomic Heart. Okay. If you don't remember the trailer from that last year, that game also looks insane. I don't remember that. We'll have to watch that after. Yeah. Grounded is leaving early access. September. So it's going to be cool. Okay. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot. Fucking Arc 2, man. Arc Vin two. Diesel yep. on a T-Rex, bro. <laughs> Let's I'm gonna, go. I'm going to say boo because I didn't finish Arc 1. <laughs> None of us God. did. No, There's no finishing What do you finish? It's, it's, yeah. No, I mean the developers. It still sucks. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah, but now the of Thieves is adding naming of ships. Oh, yeah, the captain. Yeah. And yeah, you can important. customize captain. your brig. Fuck yeah, Pearl. No, you can customize your captain's quarters. 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 Yeah. Captain's All ship's so. absolutely going to be called the Pearl. It can't be nice. sick. Um, and you can name it. It'll be, the nameplate will say the name of the ship, too. It's gonna be no, the, the name of our ship should be the Cob. Well, my okay. ship is going to be the Pearl. Mm, uh, my yeah. ship's the Pearl. <laughs> Xbox. I think, also... I think it's probably going to go off of whoever the host is. Mm. Like, it'll show Flint the Lock looks amazing, too. What is that? That's the ones with God's guns and an open world RPG. Okay. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's guns. Hey, there's also a. Uh... You have like flintlock pistols, and you're fighting like <laughs> Skyrim esque people. Skyrim people. Khajiit has coin if you have waves. Khajiit has coin like, if you give dick. What? what? Giant wow. crabs and scorpions. <laughs> Me and first. Orcs and. Very cool. Don't forget about Diablo 4. They oh, shut yeah. off Diablo 4. Oh, yeah. Yep. Diablo 4. But do you guys They have just phones? announced the Necromancer. But do you have phones? Phones? Yeah, I, I, I do don't you have not phones. have phones. Do you guys? Do you guys have games oh. on phone? Ever, so what was it? Was it BlizzCon? It was at a BlizzCon. Yeah, it was at BlizzCon a few years ago. Uh, they, the Diablo team came out and announced a new game, Diablo Immortals, and they showed it off. But everyone thought it was like, oh, it's it's Diablo Four. It was like, oh fuck yeah, but it's it's a mobile game. Yeah, and then they did a and a where people walked up to the mic and asked some questions about the game, and just some dude straight up walks up to the mic and goes, "Is this some sort of out of season April Fool's joke?" <laughs> yeah, and then he, everyone starts laughing. He's like, and the guy on the stage was like, "What? You guys don't have phones?" Yeah, <laughs> stupidest the blizzard yeah. rep. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, what a dumb response. Yeah, <laughs> that guy got fired. I think. Yeah, Good. That, that was bad. That was a bad answer. I know, yeah, that, right? Oh, that's terrible. That's everyone in that room that was considering buying it went, nope. "All right, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. going to be free to play but, anyway." Right yeah, but it's a mobile game, so how much are you really getting out of it? Can't yeah, rate shot I've not even free. thought about getting that. What was the amount you needed to do on the first day to get it, like, get oh, everything? So, the game launched recently. Uh, you can download it on the Google Play Store. And to buy everything in the store in that game, day one, you would need at least $100,000. What? Yeah. yeah. Real money or in-game real no, money? No, real money. Real life money. <laughs> <laughs> for a fucking See, mobile they got, game. They got so much flack from the real money auction house that they put in Diablo 3 when it first came out that they ended up having to remove from Diablo 3 that this was their way of recouping their money from that. That's fucking insane. So because everyone... when Diablo 3 launched, it had a real money auction house where you could spend actual money for in-game items that other people were selling. It's insane to think that some billionaire's kid right now has everything in Diablo Immortals already. And just then he's bored of it already. Stunning. Yeah, just bored of it. Just because he it got down. everything. Yeah. Probably didn't even look at the price tag. Just like, oh, that comes with everything. He's probably Boop. beat Candy Crush. Hundred thousand dollars went out of his dad's account. He didn't even fucking notice or flinch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's that YouTuber. Uh, it's an ease. <laughs> Beige Jev. Like, anytime an item has hit the Call of Duty marketplace since Modern Warfare, so Modern Warfare 2019, this year's Call of Duty, and in Vanguard, he buys everything. He gets one of everything. Oh my god. And, I, I, and it makes me wonder. I'm like, legit, I wonder how much money it is. Because somebody did the math in Black Ops, I think it was three. I remember because the, the loot crates in that game were ridiculous because it was the one of the first games to add unique weapons. Okay. And some of the weapons were just better than other weapons. Right. 
And the amount of wow. items they put in the shop in that game, like they were like, you need to spend on average at least like fifteen thousand dollars to have a fair shot of getting everything in the game, and that's a <laughs> normal average job. Why do I need to pay to play the fucking game? Some of those guys end up having affiliates with the company though, and they either get reimbursed the money or their account just Trader has Joe's. a card that's tied to it that's basically unlimited money for their in-game whatevers. Yeah, it all depends. Unlimited money. But it makes you think, like, I can't remember the last time I've, I've played a game and I'm like, I gotta buy everything in that weapon shop and then you spend hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I don't need to. Like, I just, I'll make it. I don't give a fuck. That's M like... Shadows. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege in Fortnite. You... I oh. have not bought anything in Siege in like four years. I think I bought the Frost Elite and that was it. Oh, no. I bought Siege. No. Like, that was I think the only no. thing I paid for were other operators that they eventually made. Free. No, I, I bought like... the I bought the Pickle Rick skin. That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure fucking I've, did. Yeah, I did. I've purchased Shit. so many Elite skins in Siege. No, I, I do remember. Was that last year? Early last year? Yeah. Or the year before? Yeah. yeah. I, bought, I bought the Pickle Rick skin. I think it was 2019. Or 2020. It might have been 2020. E- either way, I bought I think it. It was before the pandemic. The last three years have all just kind of been one thing. 2020s yeah. has just been one year. Like, it all feels the same. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We're I in 2022 and... somehow. It's all been blown. Yeah, somebody mentioned it. 2021, and I was like, wait, it's not 2021? Like, I forget we're in <laughs> Yeah. It's like, wait, what was 2021? What happened? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Move, carry on. I mean, 2021 had a lot of eventful events, but I was just so dead set on getting done with college at the end of the year, just kind of zoomed by because I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 2021, I was just trying to pay my fucking rent. Yeah. Like, (laughs) amen to that, brother. (laughs) Amen to that. Fuck. Aren't we all? 1400 a month was that. Fuck. That's a shit to a motherfucker. Like, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That was a fucking mortgage on a mansion like 50 years ago. Yeah, that's. Well, no, like fourteen hundred a month is literally a mortgage on a house in Texas, and we're talking a five hundred thousand yeah. dollar house in Texas. Yeah, like a really fucking nice house. That's what I paid for two bedrooms. Oh, hold and up, it was just you. Hold up, Look, yeah, I gotta show and you your something. daughter. Yeah, and my, my daughter and my dogs. Yeah, like yeah, my coworker. Fucking... Sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Oh no, that's always it. Yeah, my coworker, his girlfriend was looking at Zillow just to look at houses, just for the fucking fun of it. And they found the Crown Creme du la Creme home in Crumble Reno. Home. And I'm gonna show you this house, and you're gonna tell me how much it's on the market for. Okay. <laughs> There's a that. really cool one out in Tahoe. They've been putting fucking insane mansions in Tahoe. Mm-hmm. Millions okay. of dollars. There's only stuff. three photos of this, and I'm going to send it to you in the Discord so you can put it in the video. There's the outside view. Okay. There's one picture of the inside, and there's the second picture of the inside. Okay. $750,000. Okay. I'm going to read out the, the, it's the in amenities, Reno. and I'm going to read you out the bedrooms. It, yeah, it's in Reno. It's three bedroom, two bath. Okay. It's only 1,800 square feet. Oh, that's still decent. Single family residence. It's got a fireplace, forced air propane radiator. Doesn't have AC, no central air. It only has two attached garage spaces. 0.4 acres, which is, you know, it's nothing to scoff yeah. at, but it's 0.4 it's acres. It's a lot. It's an acre. Yep. Like an, not, not a lot, but um, it's a lot. It's a half an acre almost. The noun. Oh, yeah. What? It's been on the market for four days. <clears throat> How much do you think this home is going for? And I'll give you, I'll let you guys guess once and then I'll tell you where it's at. Okay. Cyrus, okay. let me see the picture of the outside on the camera. Oh, oh fuck. I gotta walk up. <gasps> My headphones are tangled. Headphone! <laughs> oh, no. It's got the price on it. Oh, oh. Don't okay. look, David. Come on. Yeah, no, come on. No. Don't cheat. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna put it down my mic. Hold up. I look, I look deceiving here, but I promise I was only trying to. Uh... Uh, that's probably six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I was gonna say at least half a million. I was gonna, I'm gonna go with six seventy five. Are you ready? I, 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 get I one say, guess, and then I'll tell you the I'm street say, that it's on. Uh, eight fifty. It's on Glen Street. Glen. Okay. I don't, Glenn? I don't get that reference. So no, that's like the actual street in town. Yeah. I don't know where Glen Street. Yeah, is. me neither. But give us a northwest, southwest. Like we're in I town. I look up on maps. Um, you don't even know where Glen Street is. Unbelievable. But... Saying we don't know. Where I know Glen of Glen Street. I just don't remember. I don't like going to Glen Street. Fair. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second. And the sickening thing is, is this place is probably over a million like, dollars. I've, I've lived in. Um... Oh, it's just off of Airway Drive. Over where here. is over here? Oh. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, I was like, it, it is over here. 
That's on this. Yeah, it has to be at least half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Six fifty to seven fifty. Okay. One point one five million dollars. Holy! Yep. Yep. What the fuck? I'm not joking. Here's the listing. One point one five million dollars. Would you pay one point one? Is it sitting on a plot of oil? I guess you can have horses there. It says it's fit for a horse. On a half an acre. On a half an acre. Wow. You could have half a horse on half an acre. What? I could not believe it when he showed me that. He was like, hey, you want to see this $1 million home? I went, sure. And I went, no, it isn't. <laughs> That's not $1 million. I have an acre and a half, and I would not have I fucked up the focusing on, on the webcam. But um, no, yeah, $1.1 million for 1,800 square feet. Fuck you. Absolutely. No, not. you can you can fuck right off of that shit. That no, I don't know who put that house on the market. And the worst part is if that sells because it's like, uh oh, Someone's somebody money was at able that. to buy it for one point one million. Yeah. On fucking Glen Street. Yeah, that's where Glen Street's at, by the way. Um It's right fucking next to the airport. <laughs> who wants to buy a house for a million right next to the airport? Right? Uh, right watchers. next to the airport. Plane it's, watchers. Oh yeah. my god. It's somebody that's got conspiracy to do things. But uh, um, bing. I'm gonna point laser pointers at the control tower. <laughs> Shit, that was a joke. That's a felony. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that was a joke. Do not really point bad. lasers at planes. Do not, let's let's it's, people don't do not that. point lasers at any flying or air related anything. Don't point lasers at anything. Yeah, yeah. Come on. keep if, them it's, down. Literally, people think, oh, mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of nowhere, or I'm just in the middle of this. If you point a laser at it, they can. Yeah. They, they'll go. It's right down there, and they'll go. Yeah, we see it from the tower, and they're gonna fucking send the police there. Like, so and it's really easy to figure out where lasers being pointed at. Oh when, yeah. When you're up in the air too. Like <laughs> last little bit is it has a price and tax history on the home. I don't want to hear. It was it. built in 1962. The last oh time it was God. sold was in actually 2019. At Jan January seventh, twenty nineteen, it sold for half a million. I see, I got the first price yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it should. That be was two hundred sixty-eight dollars per square foot. It's they're saying it's now worth six hundred and seventeen dollars per square foot, a one hundred and thirty percent increase from three years ago. Wow! Holy no! Fuck! Wow! No! The market needs to fuck. fucking crash, dude. Ha My hell God. no! Hold on! <laughs> Hold the fuck on! You know what the estimated monthly <laughs> cost is with? Av not average credit, but above average credit, huh. six thousand two hundred ninety one a month to live there. Oh my god! No, no. The crypto market's crashing. Yeah, yeah. it is. My my. It's fake money. <laughs> my yes. It's... My Ethereum is in the toilet, dude. Holy shit! Should have cashed out. Oh, I think my dude. I think my uh, Bitcoin's maybe. probably a buck. <laughs> Yeah, Bitcoin. I think it's at Bitcoin at twenty thousand, yeah. or it's just under twenty thousand. Dogecoin dip. Ethereum is shit. <gasps> Not Dogecoin. I feel bad for the people that paid like five hundred dollars for Ethereum to get into the Death Bat Club for Avenged Sevenfold, and now it's that same point ten evaluation is worth like ninety bucks. <laughs> wow. That's so he spent five hundred dollars to get into a club that is now only ninety bucks <laughs> to get in. Yeah, that's that's seven fold. Love the band. And what the fuck are, are they doing to their fans? Yeah, that's NFTs are a bullshit. scam. Yeah, man. That's, that's hey, scam. Hey, hey, NFTs. What about NFTs? Sorry, are a fucking scam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've been saying it forever. I think everybody has pretty much jumped on the NFTs are a fucking scam trade. Maybe this house is an NFT. Maybe that's just a picture Dude, of the house. We need to sell the house. <laughs> Man, like you NFT were saying, you're not buying the house. You're just buying the address. You're buying the address. You have rights to the number. <laughs> oh my god, it's all cryptocurrency. <laughs> my house is a crypto. That's wild. Crypto dude. homes. <laughs> crypto homes. Oh my god, I need to what make a listing for crypto homes on eBay. I think I could do it. I mean, I'm sure there's NFT art of just houses that you can buy. I'll let the government tax me. I don't care. It's a business expense. <laughs> it's a business expense. I just want half a million from somebody. <laughs> That's wild. You can stop me now. Shut up and give me money. Yeah, and then you can go out buy to Texas this picture and get the same house for like maybe two hundred thousand at most. Yeah, at most in Texas. In Texas, yeah. it's it's fucking awesome. Three fifty maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh my! In it's the it's bigger it's cities, it's or you can build your house on a swamp in fucking Mississippi. <laughs> Good luck. Or be underwater in Louisiana. A floating boat house. Hey, you know the city that's below sea level? Let's fucking rebuild it again every year. I I had twenty dollars in Bitcoin. It is now down to six dollars and forty eight cents. I'll look Damn. up Bitcoin's price. That's but a profit. Bitcoin peaked at like sixty eight thousand back in November, and that Wasn't was when like crazy? yeah, and that was when NFL players and shit like that were putting Bitcoin into their contracts because they were like instead of paying us some money, 
you guys buy Bitcoin right now and give it to us and we'll let it evaluate over time. And it makes you wonder if they ever cashed out on it or if they're sitting there going, well, our contracts are shit. It's like, should have wow. taken the money. Or should have mm -hmm. taken the money. Yeah, yeah they're just paying the money. <laughs> Bitcoin still. According to this article on Coinbase, Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX were hit with a $258 billion Dogecoin lawsuit. Oh! <laughs> oh, see what they do. Elon Musk was pushing Dogecoin very hard, and everyone thinks that he was just shilling it for money. But the problem is, is it's a decentralized currency. As much as you know, we can sit here and hate on Elon <laughs> Musk. He's not everything he says. He's he is right. That's a different argument for a different day. But um, yeah, you put all your money into a digital currency, and you're mad that somebody gypped you out of it. It's like, yeah, it's decentralized. No shit. It's not real. It's not real money. Not, when you get scammed out of an NFT, you, know, you have to sit there and go. You go. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's always been up and down in huge fluctuations. It's never been it's, stable or reliable. No. Bitcoin was the only thing that was reliably going up. That and Ethereum, okay. Polygon a little bit. Dogecoin. Okay. I mean, Bloomberg reported that American citizen is suing world's richest man for allegedly pumping Dogecoin. Yeah. Uh, a lawsuit alleges that Musk was part of a racketeering scheme to back the cryptocurrency. Yeah. Hmm. How are so, they going to prove that, though? They, they have to right. prove that he had intentions of manipulating it to gain money off of it. Well, it's... They, like, basically, they need clear evidence that he was jipping people. Like, he needs to say, well, yeah, I, I did it so I can get more rich. D if, he, if he gets something like <laughs> that, then he's fucking done. Other than that, there's yeah, no way. like in a text or something. Yeah. Well, because market manipulation is a thing, but it's almost never enforced. <laughs> or... Why Market really... manipulation's a thing when you're a trader. Yeah, when you're <laughs> wait, like trader, like when you bring the economy. Like the when you're a, a when you're a stock trader, like oh, a broker. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Inside trading is definitely illegal. I thought you meant like but trader, like in, in Musk's position with a crypto. It's a different it market. Yeah, falls outside of that realm. It's something and... unnatural or undealt with before it's a completely different economy like it's an ungoverned economy basically <laughs> bitcoin yeah. is at eighteen thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars right now it's under twenty thousand it is under twenty thousand it was at sixty eight thousand a little over half a year ago nice. can you wow. imagine buying in a little over half a year ago going hey let's ride the bitcoin wave oh god what? and it was awesome oh. because the nba put up like crypto.com purchased a, <laughs> a, a, a spot during the nba uh, game six i think it was yeah. Yeah. Really bad look because they put up that ad and then the next day crypto just fucking crashed. It's like the Thank you, Matt Damon. Colton's oh. old enough. It's it, it, does this remind you of the dot com uh explosion? The dot com explosion yeah. in two thousand and one? Yeah. Is is this does this feel similar? Is that what this is? This is actually way different than I feel that. Like it's worse. Um, it's just a bubble bursting at its popularity. Yeah, exactly. Whereas like Back with the dot com thing, it it really wasn't as big of a deal. Not as many people just all of a sudden were as rich. Yes. Oh. Like this whole crypto explosion made people that literally had fifty dollars in their bank account mm -hmm. millionaires overnight. I've lost maybe three hundred dollars in this because like I bought some Ethereum. Yeah. Oh well, it was money that I was like, yeah. I'm never gonna see this again. <laughs> What was and that? I really am not. <laughs> yeah. What is the what? dot com thing? I I don't know what that is. Everybody wanted a website. Oh really? Yep. It's like just buying websites off the internet. Do you remember in the <laughs> early two thousands, all those commercials of like GoDaddy? Web, website exactly like GoDaddy yeah. trying to like website building website shit. Building. Oh yeah. okay, like squares. <laughs> yeah. Yahoo Google. GeoCities. You can Google dot com Super Bowl advertisements, and I, it was this two thousand two thousand one Super Bowls where just a bunch of dot com websites just bought a shitload of ads because they want they were like, oh, we're gonna take out all these loans and put all of our money in the advertisement to get people to come to our website and get money for that way. Which for traffic. It it the only one that survived was GoDaddy. Pretty much. Yeah. And then the really awesome E-Trade ads. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's some awful dot-com ads. There's some awful dot-coms in general. But I don't know if you remember. So, like, r slash place mm -hmm. is where you buy pixels and stuff like that. Um, God, well, Or you don't it. buy pixels. You just place pixels down on a giant board. Fucking miss it every day. Yeah, people say that. <laughs> It'll probably be back. It was inspired by the Million Dollar homepage. You know what that is, right? No. A man in 2006, he was like, I'm going to create the world's most expensive billboard. 
he was like, it was a million pixels on the page, and he went, it's a dollar per pixel. Ooh. And he sold all all one million pixels. What the fuck? Wow. He sold the pixel? Yeah, you can go to it's still up on the internet. You can go to the million dollar homepage and you can look at all the advertisements that people put on there. Wow, that's fucking sick. Amazing. Were they were they like uh, visible at whatsoever? Yeah, you can still see them and shit like that. Some of them even worked as links, I think, if I remember correctly. Did it go to my LinkedIn? <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck people know your work their only fans. Your, yeah, where only the, fans? We still haven't found your Odin fans, Brendan. <laughs> I'm looking at the internet. I'm not scouring. Dorney! <laughs> yeah, crypto crashing is tragic, though. The my money. Company. There might be a website, but that's just a picture of it. That's just our place, isn't it? Pretty much. It's kind of like what our place was inspired by. Oh, okay. Huh. Mm-hmm. Isn't it wild? I thought it was like, whoa. Not that. <laughs> David's sitting here trying to pull up the million dollar homepage, but the million dollar homepage is just it's the it was the most clever way for somebody to make a million dollars. They went, Hey, I'm creating a big billboard, give me a dollar per pixel. And then you have people that were being stupid and bought a pixel just, just to put a fucking blue yep, dot right in. there on top. I did not I thought it was like uh like yeah. actual like pop up ads on the fucking web page, not like 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 something that looks like our place. What do you mean? There like, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a lot like our place. Yeah, that's it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, and those all should be links that you can click on, but most of those websites do not exist anymore. I bet. Yeah, How long ago? Wild. We said those in two thousands, early two thousands. Rentclicks dot com, whatever the fuck that is. Like you can see <laughs> casino websites before. It just says cheap. Pixel Doodle. <laughs> see, green savers. Alaska Mint. There's a casino one up there. Look, I don't know what it says. Huh. Yeah, that's the web pages that are just in HTML. Oh my god, remember tab mark? Cancer cure question mark question mark question mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We'll uh, put the uh, link uh, down in the description. I'll yeah, throw, we'll throw the photo. It's a piece well. of internet history. This is it's a, it's kind of wild. What's free right there? Fucking Chippendales. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's freaking wild. Does that say new dogs free? <laughs> Where? Uh, on like the right side mm. underneath tab marks. Yeah. But you see at the top right where it says sold out? Yeah. Yeah, you used to be able to just buy it. You could just buy it. Right pixel. there? Yeah. That's wow. crazy. You would just go buy a pixel, pick a plot of land, and put your pixels down. That, Neopets. That's such a cool idea. Neopets, yeah. This <laughs> this would never work today because no. who would want to do this? I mean, people really? buying NFTs. <laughs> place was so free. Dollar. Yeah, but place was free. Yeah, but it was only and I, a I guarantee you, if Reddit said you had to pay five dollars to place a pixel down, people would be doing it that, just as much as they yeah, did. That's yeah, that's right. Five dollars to participate. Yeah, Beer. and then you, you could still overwrite every other people's pixels. That's straight up a person. That's just like someone's face. Yep. What the fuck? Somebody just wanted to put their face on there. That's wild. Yep. <laughs> so unlike place once you put a pixel down you own that pixel like it's over oh and they yeah. can't override it place was cool because it was free so you're like fuck it destroy other people's art make your own art yeah. who gives a shit fucking who was it xqc on twitch would just go around and just destroy shit like because oh just fuck it and honestly that really ruined Sorry. the idea of it yeah it's like people putting all this effort and time and then for mm -hmm. you to just walk by and be like no Ooh, date tonight <laughs> huh. thomas the tank engine right next to a free hooker <laughs> right there. Look on free hooker. Wait, Thomas the no. tank hooker. Still searching? Click here. It's <laughs> yeah. free. If I have a, if it's I pixel had a virtual, I would. Yeah. But it's easy money. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. When was when did you guys start fucking around with a computer? Like at an age where you really weren't supposed to be on a computer. Uh, yeah, I was probably like. like I was like eight. Sit five, six, seven ish. Yeah, nineteen ninety three. Yep, there you go. Ninety three. Holy I, shit! I, oh, I remember movie. being ten or eleven and finding funnyjunk dot com. We had stickdeath dot com when I was in third grade. Did you guys ever watch stick mazes in like two thousand eight, two thousand nine? Stick mazes. YouTube? Yeah, stick mazes. It was just stick figures running through mazes. Oh my gosh, no! They probably still make them on YouTube. I'd mm. imagine. Stick death was just flash animations of stick figures getting murdered and killing each other over and over again. Oh my god, remember st stick figures on crack? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Stick figures on crack. Uh -huh. yes. I was thinking oh of the god. exact same. Oh my <laughs> there, so god. There was, there was a flash game on stick Dude. death called Crack House Cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a fucking brain blast when you said that, man. Oh my god. <laughs> stick figures on crack. Was Yo. Shit, oh my god. God, my head hurts now. Oh, my dad hated those videos. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, he, my dad came in when me and Beverly were laughing at once, and he's like, stick figures on crack? Really? You can't find anything better to watch? Like, it's stick figures, Dad. And he was like, we're 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're 10. <laughs> Damn, dude. I that remember, shit was hilarious. I remember going to the library and renting a computer and watch that shit, bro. Just yeah. the two-legged oh, horse. Did you guys Wait, actually... Did, did you say you had to rent your computers yeah. at the library? Yeah. Yeah. It was free for us. Well, what, like, you go you had a library time. card, you yeah, could go in and time, just be right. like, yeah, I think can I if use you had the a card, computer? You could just, like... I think that's what he means, just going in and reserving time to use it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Rent. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah. My kid brain said uh, fucking rent. Do you guys... Yeah. Did you guys ever watch the SpongeBob Saw videos? It was like, yes, yeah, okay. Oh my god, somebody yes. would draw scenes oh my in Microsoft god. Paint and stitch them together. <laughs> and it was called SpongeBob Saw, and it was just like the movie Saw, but it was SpongeBob. Oh my character. god, and they fucking cut Patrick's leg off. And I remember as a kid, I was horrified. And going back, it was literally just they would just detach Patrick's leg and then draw a bunch of red around it. <laughs> Oh my as a god. kid, I was like, oh, oh my god. Man, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie the Unicorn. Yeah, that's all you're gonna Or the fucking llamas. Oh, fucking god. llamas. Uh, my parents. Carl. Carl. Ferret. Carl. My parents also hated. Who else did I watch? It was. Oh. Yeah. Fucking. It was mid 2009 when I found Niga Higa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Ryan Higa, oh, okay, okay. the production yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the production company. Some of his early videos, like how to be gangster. My dad, like, remember when he's emo. like, "What the?" F-? And it's like a bunch of bleeps and shit like that. My dad was like, "What the fuck are you watching?" I was like, Look, he watched it. He's like, <laughs> he just couldn't believe it. He's like, I- "I'm sorry." Yeah, I remember seeing watching. He eventually it. came around to it because, like, the internet was still very foreign at that time. Mm. Because it was, ju- he, was, we were just coming off the heels of the whole hit Chris Hansen predator catching thing. My parents were convinced that YouTube was like a porn site for like, <laughs> for when we first started using it. My, my dad <laughs> like pissed when I got my first Xbox headset. He was fucking livid because he thought I was just going to talk to old people and I was going to get lured into somebody's home. What? Instead, I was talking to some kid named Paul from Texas who sounded like seventeen years younger than I was, and I was twelve. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Uh, I had him on Facebook, and yeah, that kid. I hope he's doing better now. He's doing right. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yeah, what is that? And dizzy one. That was it. Was the badger dance? Oh, yep. Nice cat. I'm a kitty cat. Arma Reforger. Might be something to look into. It's kind of cool that it's on Xbox. Is it like the ga- Arma, but just console yeah. version? Yeah. Okay. If I mean, if, guys... they, if they someone can get mods on it, I'll fucking play it. Otherwise, yeah. I'm alright. It maybe uh, stream it and see what it's about. Yeah. And put a couple hours into it and see. Have you seen any gameplay? Has anyone seen any gameplay? Yeah, I've watched a little bit of it, and it's it's it looks like an Arma game. You know, it looks uh, Daisy, but a little refined. Might be something fun to look into. I enjoy tactical shooters. That's why you know it's it's mm-hmm. fun to have one. And Arma Three had those fun mm. survival tactics and such. Yeah, it, it, like it was the details and like uh like loading weapons, adding attachments, injecting like medicine to people. Yeah, yeah. like that was that was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, that's why I wanted it on the Xbox. That way we can. I wanted to try it. Out. I wanted to, like the. I'm ever watching videos of. Armor three mods of people dressed up as like clone troopers fighting like the mm-hmm. separatists. I'm like that. What the fuck? I want to yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of World War Two mods on Armor three. Like, and mm-hmm. there was a. I think I have a Halo one as well. Huh. Like, there's you can find anything. The the real tricky part about Arma with the mods is getting them to run. Yeah. It's really fucking getting them in the right order and just right settings to get custom content just to, to work. work. Because a lot of the time it'll be a mod that runs mostly off of Arma content. But down at the very bottom of the description, it says, also install this for it to work. Oh. And, but you don't see that And part. if you don't install that one little, like, two megabyte add-on, the mod will not run at all. Fair. It's fucking... I mean, you, need, get... you need an eye for it. Like, yeah, you, need got, well. you gotta pay attention when you're doing everything. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, how does uh, Fallout do it? They do have their own, like, creation <laughs> shop there. Or, what's the creation club? Get out. So, I mean, I don't think Big dog do like that. Dates. I know. <laughs> I was like, well, they couldn't do it like that, where they just have, like, packages, and you just download it straight off of there. Yeah. <sighs> there are some mods, or, like, on Steam, they'll, uh, if they're a good creator, they'll, like, on the side, it'll say mods, like, required mm. for it, and it'll have everything, like, linked into that. 
but then sometimes you find a really cool mod and then it has like three things that you need to have installed and you install the first two but then when you click the third one the third one has like 20 mods that that one third needs to install and then amongst all of those each yeah, one of those like, has, like a branch it, you just have to go through or you just use nexus mods and have it do all of it I've never used Nexus, so if it does that, that's probably the way to do armor mods then. Mm -hmm. Number one. Yeah, Nexus Mod awesome. Manager is the, definitely the best PC tool for modding. That sounds convenient. What is? I think I did use it for Skyrim modding when I had my PC. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Change that. Fucking cool. David. Man. I believe they renamed their Mod Manager to Vortex now, but... The Vortex. Special. Well, that's what you get when you buy a gaming PC. Mm -hmm. I wish uh, mods on console was easier was to do. Easier to do, yeah. Because I feel like I would get replayment out of mm. half of the games that I own. Why? Why don't the problem is is when you allow modding into console space, people can uh, hack your console a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. It's well, a lot easier to figure out an exploit and go, ha-ha. Bethesda was able to limit it to their game using their own browser and launcher. Yeah. I mean, why don't other games do it like that? Where you can download the community mods Developers from Developers don't want to do that. Yeah. Guess. It's a Plus, lot of work. the modding community is all about mods being free, and Bethesda makes you pay to do that. Yeah. Yeah, if there's a really good item, here's the workshop. Have they ever added anything in the Fallout 4 workshop? Because I don't think I've ever looked at it. Mm-mm. I looked at it maybe when it came out, and I checked it every couple of weeks, and it never updated. And I'd imagine it's still the same bullshit. It totally is. I think in the really? Skyrim workshop, yeah. because it gave me like some free credits at some point for the Bethesda workshop, I got mm. two spell books because the Bethesda ones are mods that allow you to have achievements while you have them active. Mm. So I, I got two spell books, and then I think it's a mud crab that has a top hat. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I, have, I can have, I have three the mods. I can have those th top three crap. mods and still get achievements. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's you guys. It's different in Fallout Four. I, don't, I haven't seen any like ones I had to purchase for the mods. That's just the, work, the that's workshop. That's a workshop. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's two separate menus. The mod is created by people. The workshop is basically mods that Bethesda went. Oh, that's cool. Pay money for I've it. I've totally forgotten <laughs> that there's mods in Skyrim because I've just been playing the game normally, trying to get all the achievements. The mods in Skyrim are great. They have mm -hmm. some great yeah. fucking mods. I've never played that game with mods, so I think oh, that'll dude, be worth checking out. Oh, dude, it's a fucking Oh, yeah. There was one I had where it was like any two-handed weapon. It was more frequent executions, and I had, had the, the war hammer, so I would just bash people's heads into <laughs> obliteration. I like the one where it adds every skill tree at, it adds like uh 20 different perks with different effects and shit and then there's ones that add like 100 different spells and shit through mm. the game those fucking spell ones are rad because there's only like two or three master level spells in the game and you have to get your destruction all the way up on legendary and then get it all the way up again and then you have to train and master from one specific person who has those but then that mod just gives you like 10 different master spells and different spells that go down in a like rating for their mm. power it's fucking rad and it allows you with achievements with those ones no those ones are just mods on the game that, oh, that's okay. not workshop the bethesda right. ones are the, the yeah they're, okay. I, they're, the spell book ones that i got in the workshop at like 12 in total per book i think okay so yeah they're totally brand new oh, like, okay. kind of stuff that weren't in base skyrim so it's pretty cool but all right. The mod, the mod ones are much better because that's so fucking many. <laughs> also, find it wild that Treyarch released mod tools for Black Ops Three, <laughs> and that's it. That's the only Call of Duty, Call of Duty that's ever had the mod tools. Yeah, I remember like a lot of PC like custom maps that they've renewed for zombies. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, because it, it used to be World at War. Everyone played World yeah, at War. Yeah, people figured out how to do it on World at War. And mm -hmm. then now it's moved over to Black Ops Three Zombies, is where all those modded zombies content goes, mm -hmm. which is good. I don't know if you've ever seen some of the creative maps that some people come up with. They're fucking rad. Yeah, like I. I've always been interested in playing those one window maps where everything's like right behind you, all the park machines. And oh, yeah. And you should just one. Yeah, you just shoot one window. It's, just, it's literally As a kid, alley, that yeah. was like the best idea ever. I was like, dude, I just want to sit there and blast zombies. But as an adult, I'm like, that sounds fucking boring. <laughs> but I could easily sit there for five hours and not die and then go, okay, just fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, guys. I'm waiting. I lose because I let me lose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know in most of those now, like, you can buy the ending of the match and like win the match by like purchasing with your points hmm. or something like that. I like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. Just to end you it. save up like sixty five thousand points. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the idea in World of War or um, Cold War's uh, zombies, where you can extract and get out yeah. mm -hmm. and get right. an extra bonus points for extracting. Yep. 
Oh, I never extracted. I've always just died. It was bullshit. <laughs> you, you hit extract, all the zombies on the map died, and then it spawned in two hundred and three of the big guys at the same time. It's like, oh, and then you have like a minute. Kill all of them in ninety seconds. Like everyone has to save their supers for the end and all just unleash right there. Which is cool because you get bonus rewards if you're able to su- extract it su- successfully, and that's how you upgrade your character. Yeah. Oh, okay. And your stats and your perks. And- mm-hmm. I, haven't, I need to go back and play Cold War Zombies. I haven't played them in a minute. It's... I've been I've been playing through Cold War's campaign again because I haven't beaten them veteran. And I'm going through and like solving all the riddles and shit on the campaign mm. to do all those side missions, right? Yeah, it's fun. It's a blast. Yeah. The Cold War campaign is worth it. I have not touched it since I have it. The campaign's great. Playing it's not bad. It's short. Like, if you just blow through the story on like normal difficulty, it's not too long. So you'll get most of the story in a short amount of time. You have to play a, a good couple of the missions before the side ones because you have to find uh, specific <laughs> pieces of intel. Because mm-hmm. one of them is you have to find three pieces of intel and one of them's like a sheet of paper and you have to crack the code on that and then find the codes from a number station playlist and a corresponding city to break open a floppy disk and then the other one you need a bunch of intel to decipher who the three suspects are that are uh double agents basically against Mm. the cia Trek's always done one thing right, and it's memorable characters. Mm-hmm. Like, I still remember most of the Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 characters. I remember, yeah. My son! And <laughs> <Is Salazar. laughs> even in Cold, it's no different in Cold War because, like, Adler is such a cool Adler's such a cool character, yeah. Such a cool fucking character. I wish that they kept all the original voice actors. Mm-hmm. I don't really like, like, Hudson's new voice actor and fucking Woods is. It's, it's just Woods, but I'm mad, but I'm only going to talk in a monotone aggression. Motherfucker! And like, <laughs> you don't really ever get like mad. Goddamn it, onion mace! It's not like it's not like the original. I am mad. It's not the original like you, Black Ops Two. What did you, you see? Make was me sand. very angry. Sand and more I'm fucking pretty, sand. I'm pretty sure the Call of Duty team just wanted to distance themselves from Woods' original act voice actor because he was just kind of why he would always like brag about playing Call of Duty and stuff like that. He's like, I'm hopping on Call of Duty. Join me now. And it turns out he was like fucking awful at the game and he was i guess making them look bad oh my god frank woods himself is just bad at call of duty you can't kill me you went 0 and 17 frank i'm in the game you can't do anything yeah but i even think back to bowman in the first black ops because bowman was a great character ice cube Cube did the multiplayer voicing no hudson uh, was the ice cube in black ops no no that that was a very specific thing hudson was a fucking ice cube that's why i like the bastard Snoop Dogg was God an announcer it. in a Call of Duty. Call of Duty that Ghost. Was great, yeah. You think Ghost? Yeah. And same with uh, the you got guy. Kill Streak, you mock ass trick. Yeah, Gunny, like what's that. his name? The guy that played Sergeant Hartman in Full Metal Jacket. Arlie yeah. Army. Yeah. Sarge- oh, wow. Gunny Army, yeah. <laughs> there was two voice packs in that game Arlie, Ar- Ar- yeah, Arlie Army and uh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. That's amazing. Yeah, but he on the map for Black Ops, he was uh for Bowman he, on the jungle one. He was the announcer for that map specifically. He yeah. was the announcer for a for, for SOG game. for mm-hmm. SOG. Yeah, mm-hmm. huh. that was just cool. cool. That was a like, cool sucks that Bowman died, man. It's just like ghost dying, oh, bro. Spoiler, dude. Spoiler, it's it's fucking been twelve years. That game came out. When did that game come out? Two thousand ten. Huh? Two thousand ten. Two thousand ten was Black Ops. Fucking almost twelve years ago, dog. You haven't played it yet. What are you doing here? Oh, He's very inconsequential in the rest of the series as well. He's just. There in the first one, fucking Reznov. The fact that they carried on his character from uh, World at War, and also the mission when you're mm. playing as him, that your fight with Dimitri, who was he's the faceless protagonist that yeah. you play as in World at War, and, like they finally give him a character. Again, sadly, to only kill him off in that mission. Dude, really? Just spoiling <laughs> like that, man? They're just like, oh, Reznov was dead the whole game. It's like, <gasps> it's like remember this guy that planted the Soviet flag over Reichstag in World War Two? Yeah, look at him suffering, Nova Gas. His skin's peeling off. And <laughs> vomiting blood. War. War, man. War never changes. Damn it! I was going to say it. Damn Got it, it first. Bitches. Bitches. What was Change before? never wars. Do you remember... So you know how every... Same with my underwear. Usually characters get, like, code names. Do you remember uh, the code name for uh, Mason's kid? Fuck. Alex? Code name? <laughs> David Mason, yeah. Oh, was, was oh Alex. Section. Section. Yeah, that's that yeah, yeah, yeah. call sign. Yeah, stupid. section. That was the only thing I had a problem with. Nick. Why is it section? Yeah, his that, that's his call sign. Yeah. yeah, his call sign's fucking section. I guess. And then Harper was it actually his code name? Call sign actually Harper? I think his name is Harper. I think that he just called him Harper. Yeah, I don't think he had a call what sign. A fucking loser. Did you guys ever do those like side missions in that campaign for Black Ops? Yeah, I did everything. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get all the side missions done, but I did. The all, strike, I, I got, it was like the strike team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I did all the strike teams because you had to do all the strike teams to get the good ending. Yes. 
And then that it, one Asian dude doesn't yell at you in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the problem with the strike teams is that there's that achievement in the game where you have to complete every challenge in every single level. And there yeah. were some of the strike team challenges that were fucking absurd. They were so absurdly hard. Yeah. I just, on those ones, I just run, run around that little, like, missile rover car thing. Mm -hmm. I just, just ran around with that. And I just did winning. top down the whole time. And then when a section got pinned, not actual section, not the guy. But <laughs> yeah. when a, a group got pinned down, I would just select the machine gunner and go. And then go back to the sky. Yeah, and go yeah. To the next area. That was cool. That was, like, good, cool, like, hopping in and out like that. Yeah. Just for the covering zones. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, brother. Bazinga. Yeah, we should all go home and re-download Ghosts and. No, I'm down. I, you have it already. Five, sorry, I already have it on CD. I, I, I don't, don't have, have ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I'm installing Battlefield Five. That's what I'm gonna play. Battlefield. We I... ready to wrap up? We've been here quite a while. Well, I had one other thing that I wanted to mention that I was talking about last night. Fucking, For sure. Have you guys heard of? You should pull oh, yeah. up a picture of it. Have you guys heard of the James Webb Deep Space Telescope? Yes, I know about it. It's, they just made it launched into space. Yeah, it just it was in December. It launched, and it has been um getting set up into its final position and next month on july 12th the first images of it <gasps> are coming back no way yeah so Ooh. in less than a month we're gonna see the universe that we've never seen like because if you, you guys know what hubble taste tell the, the hubble telescope hubble taste, is right yeah hubble taste yeah, yeah that's that's the james webb each one of those mirrors look at the people standing next to it each one of those mirrors is like larger than a man and it's the like smooth as fuck i'm pretty sure it's gold because it's actual like gold plated yeah because gold is very reflective mm -hmm. and so it some whatever signs of it it reflects more light but that's that's literally the telescope like that's it there's no like tube or something and the it's thing it's just a reflection off of it yeah and the uh, i think it was last week a uh a uh micro meteoroid hit i think <gasps> I think it was that mirror. It was one of those bottom right Motherfucker! Ones. But it wasn't enough to like cause severe damage. It was something that they were expecting. Oh, so it's but... to take it. Yeah, because they kind of know where there's clouds of things in it. Mm -hmm. So the users are able to maneuver it so that the backside of it doesn't get hit the meteors as they go through it. Mm -hmm. But that one was just like, an un... it, it's an unavoidable thing that's going to happen to the telescope. And eventually what's going to make it inoperable over time is because those micrometeoroids that they can't predict are going to eventually... They ping it too much. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not like cracking the mirrors or anything, but those slight dents will eventually... Warble the image. It'll yeah, put all of the focus. Crack yeah. your image. They, yeah. They've also uh, just recently created time crystals inside of a quantum computer. The fuck you just say to me? <laughs> it, it's technically another state of matter. No, um, words. It, it is a matter that is in a superposition capable of changing between on and off, essentially, or between two states of matter by being hit with a beam of energy. I can't remember what kind of laser it is that they were hitting it with. But the the crazy thing about it is, is it's not absorbing or um, using any of the energy from the laser at all when it flips. So the, the energy is causing it to flip, but they can't figure out why. So but we're talking on the quantum level of stuff here. So so they made the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic, pretty much? I mean, I guess. Know. They're calling them time crystals because they're essentially in a fourth dimension or a fourth state of matter. Hmm. Yeah, that's all chaos. Ah, wires. Go ahead and um go to Google Images real quick and look up... um. Hubble, <clears throat> like deep space image, because from what I was watching too of what this one's kind of use is, because Hubble is still an active telescope. Yeah, they're they're not working on it anymore. Big ass telescope. It's like the last mission that they did to it was the last little repair, and it's just gonna go until it's not working anymore. Nah, but uh, sure. <laughs> Google <laughs> image, Google <laughs> images. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, all right, word. <laughs> but so from what I've kind of heard what, what the, look up hubble deep space Crazy. image not google images <laughs> google images google and google deep spaces deep space yeah time. so this Whoa. these pictures of deep space where you can like see all the different galaxies and That's shit way out there cover. <laughs> hell yeah dude <laughs> um it's basically uh oh. they they took a picture of a part in the night sky that to wherever you're looking it just seems like pitch black mm. and then that little piece of it is like 
a pixel in the actual night sky, and they were able to see all these different fucking galaxies and shit out there. And that was huge when Hubble discovered that. And so what their plan is now with the deep the deep the deep space telescope, it's sitting, I think it's um a hundred a hundred no, a million it's a million miles away from Earth. It's orbiting Earth at a million miles away. Whoa. Like it's way the fuck out there. And I forget what it's orbiting on, but there's like some kind of physics thing because it's way out there and it's orbiting around the Earth, but it's also spinning in a circle like this while it goes around. Cool. Like, so it's on Earth's orbit? It's it's orbiting the Earth like a, like the moon does. But, sideways. but it's also doing an orbit like that as it goes around. It's oh, fucking bizarre. Yeah. Wow. But the Earth is also rotating around the sun at the same time. Yeah. Right. And so what they're, right. the idea is is that Hubble is going to like pick out individual things like that and then they're going to point James like to target it to find points and then they're going to use James Webb to zoom and enhance and get fucking enhance. ridiculous <laughs> pictures of all these things that are just like faint. the Andromeda galaxy we would like actually look at it we, we've been able to see the Andromeda galaxy since the 1800s yeah, the, the, put, oh, the, the very the first moon's <laughs> orbiting the earth the <laughs> earth is orbiting the sun and the sun is orbiting a black hole the very first um, picture of the Andromeda galaxy was taken in like 1863 or something. Whoa! It was a strong. It's like a black and white picture. It's fucking hella cool. It was just this million dollar dude sitting in an observatory took a picture of it. And back then they didn't realize that it was another galaxy. Like, like we're the, in. Like we're in. They thought it was just a gas nebula. Whoa! And then it took a lot of people arguing like, no. These are galaxies like we're sitting in. It's not a cloud of gas. It's way too fucking big. You fucking stupid, mate. It's just clash gas, mate. <laughs> it's just a fucking gas it's cloud, just mate. Gas. You're just stupid, ain't it? But yeah, July 12th, the first images Mark are going to be, be coming back from it. And I think it's at starting at like um, uh, 10 o'clock or th- sometime late in the morning, late, late morning, Earth early time. afternoon <laughs> on Pacific time. They're going to be okay. broadcasting live all from all that um, time. Oh, live in um from nasa headquarters yeah. in um i think it's in miami or something wherever nasa headquarters yeah, is that. yeah they're gonna be li- they're gonna be live streaming and as they reveal pictures they're gonna be posting them to all their social media and stuff like at the same time so Fuck yeah, if you man. don't follow nasa definitely follow them and take a peep at what they're posting on july 12th because they will be posting all those images as they reveal them it Absolutely. will be fucking phenomenal it's good. i can't yeah. wait man we're gonna see space excited. in a the like it's I wasn't alive when Hubble was launched and they got those images back. It's the same fucking like excitement. We haven't seen that deep into space and we haven't seen that clear. What, imagine one of the first images that comes back is they just snapped a picture and there's just a fucking Meteor. alien ship there. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> like just on a random picture and they're just well, <laughs> but that's a city. Um, they they would they would never tell us <laughs> if it was live though. They they wouldn't have time to cover it. Up. Well, it'd be it'd be millions of light years away, so. That would be. The, they, the that would literally is, be looking at. The thing is, is society. even when they say it's live, there's probably a five minute delay between right, what right. they are. Well, these pictures are already taken. They're... The pictures that they're going to be showing are already like, like it's active right now, taking pictures of the sky. They're revealing to the public the first images from it on July 12th. So they already have pictures and shit. What's a July 12th? Yeah. So see, it would be very easy for them to censor it if there was actual alien evidence found yeah they're not like pointing at the sky and taking a picture and bringing it back live it's they're they've been taking pictures and getting since it's been operable but that's when they're gonna first reveal them i can't wait people at nasa are fucking shitting their bricks right now because they're looking at these pictures like oh my god (laughs) i can't show this to anybody but look at it the poor bricks make a house she shit bricks fuck yeah life gives you lemons you shit a brick and make a house I don't want your damn lemons. What, do you want, what am I supposed to do with these? Wait a minute, but Hi, the year's 2007, and shit bricks memes are funny. Let's go. When you see it, you will shit bricks. <laughs> the shit brickity. As I didn't know, I thought that was like a fucking, I thought that stood for something. I was like, what is shitting bricks? I can't go ask mom what shitting bricks is. That sounds <laughs> weird. And it was bricks with an X in the meme. It was, yeah. You will shit bricks. Back when memes were the picture in a black frame with a caption on the bottom. <laughs> iFunny for like seven years. Yes. Because <laughs> that's all, you, to upload something to iFunny, you had to put one of those fucking captions in. Mm-hmm. And that's why iFunny had, has such a horrible reputation. <laughs> I remember the iFunny Reddit war. Where was it going on? Yep. I stuck with Reddit. I used an mi- app called Meme Droid, and I remember everyone just talked shit about fucking <laughs> iFunny, and I'm like, Dude, nobody knows this fucking app exists. Yeah. 
it still exists, but the memes are so bad now. Oh and there's God. ads everywhere. And there's ads everywhere. I paid for the ad free version because it was like a buck. <laughs> but I was like, once I started using Reddit, I was like, okay, goodbye, meme droid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And that, that, well, that wraps up uh, one, episode, episode Look at 50. That. We just landed in Portland. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox. Wow, that was, a, that was a perfect flight time. Yeah. It, dude, it yeah, the Xbox good. never connected back, so I couldn't. I don't think play. the Wi Fi is working because my phone is. Still yeah, my phone is. No, it's still not. But yeah. how we're talking to Colton? It's wired. Ethernet. Ethernet. Yeah, that's probably the only reason. Short Ethernet cable. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Because I'm long and skinny? You might have to factory reset your router. <laughs> oh, God, I just unplug it from the words. wall and just, <laughs> just let it sit. Yeah, yeah, just unplug it, let it simmer. <laughs> reset button. Who? Restart everything. All, All right, right, folks. All right, we'll catch you next week. Thanks uh, for listening. Year. Thanks for listening for the year anniversary episode, guys. Thanks for guys. listening for a year. If you yeah. have. Yeah, on it's episode been a year. fifty because we missed two episodes. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. No, it's it lined up perfectly. It was though. a comment. Year. Yeah. Taco Bell. <laughs> So do we just take two breaks every year? So we just keep aligning with 50, 100? Yep. Sure. All right, fine. Call me your favorite episode this far, man. Guys. Well, we're not going to be able to record the weekend when we go camping. So, I mean, there's one break. Well, we yeah. <laughs> extra gaming videos or something yeah. that week. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, guys. Catch us next week and on our socials in the link tree below. Check out the SoundCloud for our Beats of the Week. Look at that SoundCloud. And Spotify oh. or YouTube. Depending on what you're watching you on. You can even listen on Amazon Music. If you're Amazon crazy. Amazon Music too. And if you found us through Amazon Music, <laughs> wow. why? Impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> I use Amazon Music, but seriously, why? Well, right. have a good night, everybody. And here is the goodbye. Beat of the-